The Book of Gates, A Magical Translation. Now, a couple of months ago, I reached out to Josephine McCarthy and said to her, listen, Josephine, if you wanted to send me a copy of The Book of Gates, I would definitely do a review. And so Josephine very, very kindly put a copy into the post for me. And look, she's uh, even signed it for me. Isn't that kind? Thank you so, so much, Josephine. Well, what is The Book of Gates? Folks, I've been having so much fun reading this over the past few weeks. Uh, the Book of Gates is a traditional tomb text, right? So you probably m you might be familiar with the uh, very well-known Book of the Dead, uh, also known as the Book of Going Forth by Day. Uh, one of the one of the traditional texts that were found in the tombs of kings. Um, well, this is another such text. There's another one called Amduat, and uh, this is the Book of, the Ga the Book of Gates, uh, yet another tomb text. But there's something kind of special about this particular one. Uh, in fact, there are a few special things. First of all, it's not only found in the tombs of kings, the way the Book of the Dead is. Uh, this one was found in the tombs of kings. In fact, uh, this translation is taken from the tomb of Seti I. Um, but uh, this text was also found in the tombs of regular people um, uh, who, were, who were, uh, were, were not kings, right? Uh, so it's divided into 12 parts. Essentially, it's a guide for the dead going through the underworld. And this is the second thing that's special about it, right? All of these tomb texts are guides for the dead going through the underworld. But this particular one, this Book of Gates, is also usable by those who are not yet dead, right? As an initiatory process. And Josephine spotted this uh, as being essentially a synopsis of her well-known Quirea magic course. Now, those of you who've seen my review of the Quirea, uh, Quirea course or who have seen uh, many, many, many of my videos where I recommend this heartily, um, uh, you will know the, the, the quality uh, of the contents here. Um, and the fact that it's available for free online, by the way, is incredible, absolutely incredible. Well, um, this this entire, I'm going to say, 10-year course at the very least, right, um, is, uh, you could say that it has a synopsis in this Book of Gates, in this, um, it, yeah, in this funerary text, which is also... An, an initiatory text for the living. Fascinating stuff, folks. Absolutely fascinating stuff. So the idea is that the initiate is led through the underworld by Ra, or Re, who then goes through and um, uh, goes through 12 uh, different gates until the initiate becomes uh, what is known as a radiant one. Uh, it's 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 just beautiful to read of its own value. I mean, of its of its own just uh, just just literary evocative value. It's fascinating, but uh, but yes, as a process to actually go through yourself as an inner journey, it is amazing, absolutely amazing. So the idea is, yeah, at the beginning of each hour. Uh, you are given, uh, so this is actually a, a, an image of the uh, the sarcophagus uh, where the majority of the book was actually written out. I think hour six and maybe one more of the hours was, uh, there just wasn't space inside the sarcophagus and so they, uh, they wrote it actually on the wall uh, of the tomb itself. Um, so, uh, so yeah, you get at the beginning of each hour um, the picture of that hour. So usually with some repeated figures, let me just zoom in a little bit over here, some repeated figures and hieroglyphic writing around those repeated figures and some uh, some images 
uh, happening over here, some more repeated figures, and then you'll get a, um, a commentary on the first set of repeated figures and the text that accompanies that first set of, uh, or should I say a translation of the text that accompanies those first repeated figures, followed by Josephine's commentary on the text that you've just read. So you can see the text is, you know, it's just a, usually just a short bit, although there are over a uh, hundred uh, paragraphs, if I remember correctly, something along those lines. It's a hundred different passages, um, uh, over over spread out over twelve hours, right? Um, and so this would be the second bit of interest in that first hour, right? You recognize it from over here, and then you have the translation of the text once again, and once again Josephine's um, uh, tra uh, commentary uh, with with uh, footnotes uh, from uh, uh, about the translation, very extensive footnotes by the translator, my goodness, the translator Michael Shepard has done such a fantastic job. So one of the aspects of uh, initiatory texts like these uh, mystery texts is that there are different levels upon which to read them. And Josephine explains all this really, really nicely in, uh, in an extensive introduction to the book. And uh, one of the should I say one of the the, the um, uh, aspects of these texts is that they have um, many puns, right? Plays on words, and the um, uh, wherever a pun <laughs> has been recognised by the by the translator, um, uh, what he's done is that he's given us both explanations, both meanings of the word. Um, um, uh, divided by a forward slash, a little bit like this. Um, uh, I'm trying to find a, a better example for you as what I've been flipping the pages for here. Uh, but there are, there are in fact, many, many. I just don't seem to be finding any uh, to show you immediately. But um, I really appreciated that. The fact that uh, the translator hasn't tried to hide the puns in, you know, in an English pun or whatever, right? uh, which would only be an approximation but has actually given us simply, quite straightforwardly, both meanings. Here we go. Uh, wind, land, right? The word for, um, uh, that, that, that appeared here in the actual text could be taken to mean wind, could be taken to mean land with just a slight difference or possibly without a slight difference. Maybe it's a, a homonym, maybe it's a homophone. Um, it's, uh, yeah, uh, just the way you would read uh, an, an esoteric or occult text, right? Uh, with, with many different meanings for many different words. So yeah, that, that's the value of the translation. Uh, somebody in uh, somebody on Facebook, I think it was, was uh, explaining to me that um, one issue that they had with this text is that um, each gate, and this is a, uh, an image of, uh, of one of the gates, uh, each gate has got a serpent or several serpents, uh, I think it's once a, a serpent, guarding it uh, that represents a goddess. And knowing the name of the serpent and of the gate is of great importance and it's quite true i i wasn't able to find the names of the serpents in the translation uh, but that's very easily remedied you do a quick uh, quick google search and um uh, and uh, wikipedia will bring up all the information you need to know about the names of the serpents, if if that's of, of particular interest to you, right? Um, uh, besides that, right, everything else is of such high value here. Josephine's commentary, because she's such an accomplished magician, she knows the she knows the, the patterns, right? She knows what she's looking at here. Uh, and so she has absolutely uh, spotted the, um, the ways in which the adept of, uh, of the gates uh, is, um, 
is led from uh, from from the profane world into uh, the world of adepthood in in very much the same way as uh, she's um, uh, she's helped so many uh, apprentices become Quirea adepts through her course. Uh, so so that in itself is of in incredible value, absolutely incredible value. So is this going to be the best text for you if you're just interested in the history of uh, of um, the Book of Gates. Uh, to be honest with you, I haven't read any other translations of the Book of Gates. This seems very competent, right? I mean, it seems very competent. Um, uh, but the major value here is if you're interested in the actual spiritual um, effectively spiritual um, practices and um, uh, and and processes of the uh, of the Egyptians um, uh, through their underworld and um, um, and and uh, whether that be in death or or still during life uh, in order to to, to reach a um, uh, to reach adepthood. Fascinating stuff, really, really fascinating stuff. So Stuart Little, Little John has also provided a couple of uh, beautiful illustrations in his uh, uh, in his inimitable style. Um, I think that's that's really very, very cool. This well, you can you can recognise it actually from uh, from the picture that I showed you uh, earlier on. One of the one of the uh, I guess the very first hour there, and then towards the end of the book, you have another really lovely image by him. Here we go, the the, um, the great swimmer. There we go. So so gorgeous. Yeah, and I'm I'm a make I'm making an assumption here, but I'm assuming that it's Stuart who reproduced these um, images from the coffins as well. I, I I don't know for sure, but I'm gonna guess that would probably make sense uh, that it would be him uh, doing that. Um, towards the end of the book, we've also got a glossary a glossary of the English words uh, accompanied with the. Um, uh, the Egyptian words that they, the, the translator has, has made a, 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 a big effort to stay consistent with, right? So wherever this this word appears, he's made an effort to always translate it as a claim, you know, and uh, and, and so on, right? Um, so yeah, uh, so that's 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 good stuff, and there's many many pages of that, um, and uh, and I. Think think that's I, I I didn't in fact go and look any further than that it actually uh, yeah a bibliography that makes sense there we go nice very nice stuff there we go folks that is an overview <laughs> a brief overview uh, because there's there really is um, there's there's at least months at least months uh, worth of um, of discovery in here. Uh, I've just spent a couple of weeks with it. Uh, I've only really gone into detail with the first couple of hours. Um, uh, and even in the second hour, you know, it was more of an overview than, um, um, than, than, than a, a deep study. As I say, it would take months at the very least, uh, poss possibly years, to, uh, to, to get very deep with this book. Um, uh, there is so much going on, and thanks to Josephine's commentary, um, it's just made that much more accessible. And uh, I, I can't begin to tell you how valuable that is. Um, yeah, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Thank you so, so much, Josephine, for sending me the book, uh, allowing me to show it to uh, the wider world. I hope some of you watching the video um, uh, do check out the um, the the description where I've left some some links where you can pick up the book uh, and uh, that you pick it up for yourselves and spend many happy hours uh, digging into all of this and possibly uh, traversing the underworld yourselves uh, to come out the other side as radiant ones.
There we go. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, leave a, a, a like on the like button and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you very soon with another video. Take care. Bye-bye.